Hey, May Renfro here with another vlog of mine. And this time I'm talking about um, oh, how answering the question how I have time for blogging and writing because I've often I've been asked that question. Um, how do I have time when I have a busy home? I've got I'm a mother of nine and we live in an acreage with a big garden and so many are curious. Well, I, I keep up my blog and I've wrote four books now and they're just like, how do I manage? Well, I manage, uh, but I don't really have, I am, I can't say I have time. I just take time and better yet. I think God is God that gives me the time. I don't really have time for that, but I've made it a priority. I've made it, I mean, it's something that means so much to me, and I've kind of made it one of the, the top things, and so I I end up with time that way, and, and just God has made it available and made it, made it possible for me. I know it's all Him. I just give Him the glory for what I've been able to do over the last several years. I've been blogging now since early 2009. It was the summer of 2008, where I had just felt strong that I wanted to start a ladies' Bible studies in my home, and I wanted to be able to to re to just to reach out to other women with um, stuff I felt God putting on my heart, the message that He gave me, and just to read the Word together and to talk to other women about God. And I really wanted to do that, and I and I didn't know how. And I was like, Well, how would I start that? I really wasn't someone I felt that I could do that. And so then I started hearing about blogging about that same time. I was like, Oh, that's what I can do. Instead of the ladies' Bible says I'll start blogging, and that'll be my ministry spot. And so that's the, that's what it's been over all those years. This is. Uh, 2019 now so for about 10 years I have been blogging and I've, I've um, I, it's been possible somehow <laughs> sometimes I haven't been able to do it you know very often and um, there are just short little pieces that I'm able to do but when God has gave me stuff to share I have um, most often been able to quickly write that down and put that in the blog and I know it's been an encouragement and inspiration to many over the years and now the beautiful thing is with that, that I, all those things I've written on my blog, I have them into two books now, Volume 1 and Volume 2, titled As for Me and My House, and their blog posts over all those years. And so how those books work, well, the first volume is it covers several years up to quite recent, and then the Volume 2 is the same thing, older and and right up to uh, very recent in that one as well. So everything that, well, not everything I put on my blog, but a lot of the, but that's the stuff that I write on my blog, all the inspiration and then thoughts that um, I've had, that's, they've ended up in my book. And so that will, is definitely a blessing and encouragement to others if you haven't ha got the books that I'm sure you would enjoy them. And so now to answer the question, yeah, really, how, how, how do I manage to find time? Uh, there are some things that I don't do every day so that helps I we don't have TV we don't do TV so that does not consume my time I, I am on Facebook that's the only social media pl thing that I'm on and I do that very little very very little I'm actually doing it more than I w wish I was it's so uh, kind of addictive isn't it Facebook if you're on that it definitely is uh, addictive wanting to be on there to see what people are posting what your friends are up to and posting stuff yourself and all of that um, yeah, you really want to kind of see what's going on, and so it's hard not to, and then it's very, very time-consuming, so I'm wanting to get that less and less. Um, I use my phone now for that. I didn't used to. I, now my husband got me a, a smartphone. I guess that's what it's called, and I've got the Internet on there, and I found that handy to check my email, so I started checking my email on my phone. Then I was like, wow, this sure is handy to send messages uh, to my friends through Facebook. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, and checking... Uh, Facebook statuses and stuff too is very handy. Before you know it, you're on your phone quite a lot, consuming a lot of time, very unproductive time. And so I don't want to bash that for you if that's something you really enjoy doing. But if you are looking for more time to use on other things that you really want to do, if you're really wanting to say do the blogging or writing and you've never found time, well, those are some things you may be able to eliminate to find time. Maybe eliminate the Facebook, um, you're on Twitter. I don't know what all is out there for social media. Uh, social platforms like that. I think there's a lot. So if you're on those, maybe try to really limit them. Maybe you can get rid of them completely. It, it, if you could do that, the, that is nice. I know there's some that, that live totally not on Facebook and for good reasons, and they're 
then it's great for them. So you might want to do that too. So those are some of the reasons then why I have time then for blogging because I don't, I don't, I'm watching TV in the evening or a movie in the evening or that. So then when I do have a bit of spare time, then I'm like jump on there. This is my only other spare time thing besides um, I mean the rate of my work, like hoeing in the garden. That's done when I have extra time as well. But this is when I'm done hoeing, I'm done, and I've read to my children and I've made sure I've gave them my time. And that is my top, top priorities, my husband and my children. And so then when I have extra time beyond that, then there's my blogging, there's my writing, video blog post, and whatever it is that I'm working on. And that just, they, just is one of my top things. It means a lot to me. I'm really wanting to be an encouragement, inspiration to other wives and mothers and encourage them in their walk with the Lord and in their mothering because I know what such a hard job it is. It's a really it's a big job. There's lots of little things, though to keep up with in your mothering and I'm not meaning just uh, the the housework and and all that because that's a lot of work but when you've got older children to help that really goes down that to me that's not that's not the big work anymore for me the big work is keeping attitudes in check um, and behave and watching their behavior and just being there for them and with them and and uh, giving them your time and um, and making sure they they are um, Treating each other kindly and just and behaving nice and and it really you've got to be on top of it a lot really just on top of that and to encourage them and be speaking words of life to them encouragement and that's why I don't want to be on these little devices they're they're so time consuming and I want to be there for them all there and so that I can be on top and encourage them when I see them down there's one thing I've always liked to just to say this encouraging word and. And uh, I know I haven't been faithful in that area, but I really want to do that more so. So I'm encouraging that to do that too. Uh, and so I'm hoping I'm answering this question, uh, kid, about how I have time to blog and write. But I, I think its main thing is that it is a priority of mine. It's something, a passion of mine, and um, I just try to use my time as wisely as I can. I'm not, I'm not really good in that area, but I'm trying. So I encourage you to do that too. And. Um, just to set your priorities, what means the most to you, maybe get a piece of paper, write it down, what is most important to me outside of my family, my, raising my children for the Lord and being there for them, what is the most important to me and how can I have time to do that and start eliminating the things that's not that important to you, things that you can do without, things that's not productive use of your time or whatever it may be. There's many things out there that so time consuming and so can grab your time before you know it. You spend a half hour. And guess what? A half an hour in blogging and writing can go a long ways. A lot of time when I come out to my library, like right now to do this video, I'm not going to be out here any more than probably 10, 15 minutes. I'm done. So um, what are you doing? You know, are you taking 30 minutes a day to do something unproductive? Like, sorry, TV. I, I'm a... I'm a strong one on that. I bash TV a lot. So if you're taking 30 minutes a day to watch TV or some other thing, guess what? You could have had 30 minutes to do a video, to do your writing. And um, it's really productive. I've heard uh, people that uh, write books um, that they said even 15 minutes a day on book writing can get your book done in a, a year or two, depending on um, what kind of book it is. You're surprising. It's surprising how much you can get done and accomplish. So just try to count those minutes. And if you're wanting to work on a big project, whatever your big thing is, see where your time is going. Um, schedule, like, see what, what your time is being used. I'm not a tightly scheduled person by no means. I don't know how to schedule my time and, and plan that way. But, but just see what thing, just kind of basically see what is consuming your time every day and see what things you can cut back on, totally eliminate out of your daily routine or a few days a week at least and so that you can commit to these things that you want to do and make sure that your family comes first. That's your top party. That's what God has given you. That is your mission field right there, your home, your family. They're the ones that you can be ministering to, speaking life to, and so that's that's where you're first at. But um uh, but a few minutes a day that you have extra, you can pour out and give to someone else. And it's, it's so important your children see you doing that, giving giving and uh, encouraging someone else. And and they, they, they are, they're watching you, and they all probably follow in your footsteps. And, um, and hopefully be committed to sharing with others and um, giving your 
your inspiration that God has given you in giving to others and the hope that you have in Christ. There's someone out there that needs what you have. Very important. There's someone that needs um, the, what you've gone through, your experiences, and what God has done in your life. And you want to let them know, this is what God has done for me. He is faithful. He has been there every day, come through for me. He's gave me joy and strength again. That's what God has done for us since we've lost our son, uh, Clayton, in 2017. It's been two years now, and that's what God has done. Every day he has given me strength to meet the new day. He's given me joy. I have put my faith and trust in him, and he's gave me peace. And there's a verse in Isaiah. I wish I could quote it, but when the, your, the mind that has stayed on, God, on Christ He'll keep in perfect peace because he trusts us in the age where he trusts in the Lord and gives us peace. And so those are things that you can share with someone else. And it's powerful. You don't know how it's going to affect someone else. Um, when we uh, don't share our testimony and our experiences, we know how many people is going to be blessed. But when we share it, we never know how many people we're going to bless. And so you take that time to do those things that you are feeling called to do, which on your heart and it's going to do a great thing. God's going to multiply what you have. Um, it's interesting, like the story of the boy and the little, uh, the, see if I can get this right, the five loaves and the two fishes. Or maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> and uh, forgive me on this, but he um, gave that to uh, to Jesus to use Jesus' blessing and um, passed it out to all the people. And you know how the story goes. There was 12 baskets of leftovers. And so... Um, God's going to multiply what you give him. If you don't give him, he can't use it. He can only give what we use. He can only use what we give him, what we're willing to give up and do for him. So what are you willing to do for him? And what are you willing to give up in your life to be able to have the time to do those things? Are we willing to give up our social media time, our TV time, and what, what have it? So... I'm encouraging you. That is how I have time to blog and to write. And I hope this has been an encouragement and a blessing to you today. All right. Take care. Keep on.